are we ready? Hello there everybody. Welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. I'm Joanna. At least I think I'm still Joanna. It's Monday. It's we all have Oscar hangover, don't we? Oh my goodness. Oh just seeing John Cena, Sienna, Cena. How do we say his name? Cena. John Cena with nothing but an envelope. <laughs> Girl, I just want to know, was there like a little G-string thing happening? Or is he just cut like, like a model from the sculpture of David? Because... Nobody should have a body that pretty. Nobody. It's wrong. It's wrong, I tell you. It's wrong. Okay, here we go. You ready? Want some ASMR? Psh. Cut her open. It is springtime. Spring, spring, a ding, a ding, a ding time. Yes, I cannot wait to show this to you guys. Now, I have a picture of my Lucy with bunny ears sitting in a meadow of blue bonnets. And I'm telling you, this is the only thing that comes remotely close. These are called Easter egg hunters. They're all puppies, but they've been playing all morning and they very, very tired. Aren't they cute? Um, this is 22 by 29, not exactly snacky, but doable, doable. Oh, my, I hate when the label gets all curmudgeon, don't you? I mean, these labels are important because this is the only way I'm going to find this in my stash of denial. I mean, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, the Oscars were great last night. We had Ryan and we had Slash and we had Van Halen. Oh my God. And the fact that they brought out, uh, what's his name? The Godfather. Help me. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. He is 83 years old. We had to Google schmoogle him because he's so, like, I was like, you don't get to be 83 and have a full head of hair. I guess in Hollywood you do because, boy, he looks so good. Oh, God bless him. God bless him. I hope he lives to be 100. I really do. And, and he looked, you know, uh, alert and solid and not I mean you know there are people half his age I know he did have one on John Cena give me that look see he was covered he had a girl panty wanny on I knew it I knew it I was like there's no way they're gonna let him go out there you know wide open spaces and everything I mean, those cards can't cover everything. I cannot wait till you guys see this. You're going to lose it. Get ready for a cuteness overload. It is so freaking adorable. It'll make you want to go out and buy the gayest pink suede pumps you can find. I'm not kidding, people. Look. Look, he gets two pages because... There's a whole lot of stuff going on here. We've got a butterfly and a beautiful, beautiful bow. I'm all about a bow. You know me. I'll put a bow on a plate of broccoli if you let me. I mean, I am, I'm that girl. Okay, and we have, here, let's open them up because I hate making people wait 20 freaking minutes to see an image. Especially when it's an image I might not even like. Um, more stuff on the floor. Okay, we'll get that later. Here we go. Easter egg hunters. We have 130, 133, and 141. Three ABs. 
And then down at the bottom, page two, please, we have one Z drill. Only one. It's blue. I think it'll be around the sign. I have no intention of following the uh, rules here. I'm going rogue with this puppy thing, and we are going to pimp my ride, people. Look at how cute. Look, his, his face is as big as my hand. <gasps> He's going to be a big dog. We got a little St. Bernard puppy and a little Goldie puppy. It might be a great Pyrenees. You never know. This one looks more like my puppies when they were babies because they had that. But I'm going to show you the picture of Lucy. It's going to be right up here in the corner, and you are going to die. She looked so ethereal. I mean, what a rich looking, bougie looking dog in her bunny ears. And they look like they were attached to her head. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, okay. Easter Egg Hunters is by Tom Wood. Bravo, Tom. Yes. Round of applause for Tom. It's it's beautiful. I mean, you have the bright color of the barn. You have all the blue. Look at the wisteria coming in and a butterfly up there. You have Easter eggs down here. We're totally going to bling out the eggs. You've got fabulous, big, big bunny ears on, on this guy. He was the last one to give it up. But they're all napping, and they've got their, their basket, and the details. I love, look at, look at how the strap goes around the basket. I love that so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And that bow is to die for. Uh, the bow has, oh, I'm going to pull it closer in the light. The bow has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shades of pink going into like a little black outline. Nine colors just in that bow. I mean, she's going to have some beautiful, beautiful texture. Uh, this is a color palette. It is a little darker, a little bolder than I would expect for springtime, but this is the outcome. So we know we're gonna have um, a really pretty, see the ABs are yellow, bright red, the barn, and white. And then the glitter drills, there's only one and it's blue. And it's that like kind of weird cross shaped blue. The cockeyed cross for Easter, you used a, cro a cockeyed cross, really? Come on, Dak. Um, you know what? I don't even see a lot of it in here. Maybe it's in the eggs. It is. Look, it's that little tiny blue right here in the eggs. Isn't she cute, though? Okay, what a way to say hello, spring. She's so much fun. Listen, you're important to me, so be important to you. Have a great day. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.